You know, a monk is called to live singly for God in solitude, a life of prayer. But we form a community and we, we help each other. We go to God together. The concept of monastic life is uh, expressed in the word monk. And, and monk uh, is from the Greek monos, which means alone. We seek God alone. Joy has characterized monastic life from the very beginning. And I think for all monks, that's at the core of their vocation, is uh, an encounter with God's mercy. We all work. I mean, work is part of the life for everyone. Everyone has to be willing to work. Work is seen as a service to God and to the community. We try to work out a balance, you know, to be very patient with the efforts of people, to ask people to do what they can do, not to overburden people, but to give other people as much as they can do. I'm going to take you down to the chapter room here. You walk twice a day. Working in the infirmary can be a challenge at times, especially when monks need a lot of care. Before that, I it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week sometimes, but the monk needs a lot of care, so it can be a challenge. But there's a real grace in it. Well, Father Regis Tompkins died two years ago at age 93. When I entered the community in 1961, he was my novice master. I respected him very much. He helped me very much in my early days in the monastery. Forty years later, when he was approaching death, I was the one who took care of him. When he, literally, when he breathed his last, I was right with him, praying in his ear. For me, that was a profound grace. The bakery here is an important part of our of work. It's our chief source of revenue. And it's been successful from the very beginning. There's a very good family spirit here, and I think it has to do a lot with the with the bakery. I oversee the work program, so I have to assign people uh, certain jobs and shifts to make sure uh, positions are covered. There isn't a lot of things we can do for each other. We can't buy each other gifts. I don't have any money, uh, personal money. So really, our work is our way of showing our care for each other. Labor is a way of sharing the experience of practically everybody. There's a spiritual dimension of work too, that by working in the spirit, of an inner spirit of willingness, of accepting the problems and the challenges, and you have monks living in community. The tradition is right from the early days of Christian monasticism that the monks serve each other's needs and work to support each other. That's like an unbroken tradition. I mean, work is part of the life for everyone. Everyone has to be willing to work. Work is seen as a service to God and to the community. Oh, Lectio Divina literally means uh, divine reading. It, it's uh, essentially reading of the Word of God as revealed in Scripture. The idea of Lectio Divina is to penetrate more deeply into the significance of the text of God's revelation. In view of being better able to know him and to conform to his plan and to his will. 
uh, you know, you read a little bit of scripture or one of your favorite saints, and hopefully uh, catch something in the morning that you can take throughout the day and meditate on or just think about. Those who are more inclined to study also have to work. And those who are all more inclined to work also have to read and study. And then there's a balance of appreciating different talents in the community. There are pockets of time when you can get some quiet time and some reading done. But mainly for me, it's between um, like 3 in the morning and, uh, and 5 or 6 in the morning. Uh, but Lexio has more of a, is more of, a, of an affective approach to the Bible where you want to get a feel for it. So it's very existential. The idea is not just to gain information, it's to get an insight that's efficacious in the way we, we actually relate to people and go about our life. The broadest definition of prayer is the conversation uh, with God that is intimate. Because it's not easy to pray. I mean, in prayer we come in contact with God. God is all loving, but God is also a tremendous mystery. And when we pray, we're drawn out of ourselves. And this can be very disconcerting at times, to meet God in faith, in one's own weakness. I am exhausted with my groaning. Every night I drench my pillow with tears. I give you my death with weeping. My eye wastes away with grief. I have no hope surrounded by my foes. You're trying to pray throughout the day. You know, it's easy in church when you have the Psalms and the brothers chanting. But hopefully even down here in the garage, uh, you're praying. Uh, trying to, you know, just in touch with the Lord, either listening to Him or speaking to Him. Oh God, my God, why are you cast down my soul? Why groan within me? Open oh, God, I will praise Him still. My Savior and my God. love to pray, then you will love being a monk. I mean, everything about the monastic life is oriented towards deepening their inner life. And uh, the reward of the life is Christ Himself and a kind of intimacy with Christ that is uh, much more possible in, in the monastic setting than anywhere else. And if you conceive of prayer as a participation in God's own life, his existence, and in his care, his love, uh, then everything you do is is a, uh, has a prayerful dimension to it. to really believe the Lord wants you here and he has a plan for you and uh, your being here, my being here is really for others. It's not just for myself. Uh, I've always thought that if I ever wake up with the thought of I'm here only for myself, it's the day I'm going to leave. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the, to the lowly, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners. set up their life so that it's focused on this search for God alone where you walk in, a, in the presence of God 
and uh, gradually become more sensitive to the fact that God is not only around you in all things, in all people, but within you. And so keeping aware of that is a big part of uh, the rationale of monastic life. He will consider you with his kingdoms, and under his wings you will find refuge. You will not fear the terror of the light, nor the arrow that flies by day. During the time that I've been at the Abbey of the Genesee, I've found uh, great peace. I've drawn nearer to Christ. And there have been many unsuspected rewards and surprises, challenges. The life is a great blend of, of, it's a perfect blend, i found for me, of restfulness and challenge. It's a, at one time it's a, a garden, it's like Eden in the cloister, and at other times it becomes a battleground, an arena. There's a balance, there's a way it, it works out that constantly challenges one to grow and to stretch themselves in ways that they wouldn't in another environment. And for certain people, it's the atmosphere in which they can best develop their inner life and grow near to Christ.